Team Keep It Clean, I'm happy, man. I'm really happy. I'm happy in life. But with this, I'm happy because this is the week that we finally get some answers to whatever the, the Ravens' next move is going to be with Lamar Jackson. Because literally um, every single day, it seems like every single day, ever since the season officially ended, after the Chiefs won their second Super Bowl, um, it seems like every single day it's been a new story, a new report, a new rumor, a new this, a new that. And a lot of stuff actually hasn't even really been new stuff. Yeah, a lot of it has been thoughts and projections and, uh, and guesstimates. But literally every single day, it seems like every single day it's been something. Even this morning, this morning, like we, we, we got about a day and a half till we see something official, like, and that's why I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm like relieved, and I know a lot of y'all are relieved too, that we're finally going to be moving to whatever the next step is officially. It's not going to be a rumor. It's not going to be a story. No, it's going to be something real. An actual transaction has to happen between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So that transaction has to be, well, actually, you know, technically a transaction doesn't have to happen, but it will. Because the Ravens could be like, you know what? I right, couldn't come to an agreement. We'll just let them hit the free agency. We'll let them hit free agency. But, you know, that's not going to happen. So a transition is, I mean, excuse me, a transaction is definitely going to happen. It will either be them coming to a long-term agreement with him. And <laughs> I mean, you know, that there, there was that rumor. I, I saw a lot of people. There's a lot the big rumor that the, the Ravens had actually agreed to a deal with Lamar Jack. That was floating around heavy like two days ago. But obviously, nothing yet. Um, so it will either be that the Ravens agreed to a deal with Lamar or they place him on the franchise tag. Now, which franchise tag it could be. We'll know Like we ain't gotta guess no more That's what I'm so happy with. We ain't gotta guess Like we ain't gotta wonder Alright Well are Ravens gonna place them on the Non-exclusive Or the exclusive or, Well what are they gonna No We're gonna know And that makes me so happy That all, all this the, the wondering and all that It's about to be over Very soon In a day and a half It's, a, it's gonna be over well, Within the next day and a half And that's a beautiful feeling Now Um we just talked about how literally every single day there's been new reports coming out. Today was no different. <laughs> Today was no different. Early in the morning, Tom Pelissero, he repeated. Um, he said, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson and GM Eric DaCosta met recently in Jackson's hometown of Miami in hopes of working towards a deal per sources. So Eric DaCosta said, look, man, if you ain't coming to me, I, I'm going to come to you. I'm coming down to South Florida. I'm, I'm going to go check the vibe down there. I might hit up Pompano. I might go to Ugly Corner, go go to Happy Wings or something. But what, Eric DaCosta came through. He came down here. Oh, all right, Eric DaCosta, hey, I love I respect it. I love it. So I, I, I love the, the effort. I love the effort. Because if he came down here, like, really trying to get something done, I'm, uh, hey, then that, that shows you, re you really want to get this thing done. You really trying to make something happen. So I respect it. I really do. So shout out to Eric DaCosta for that. But then the next part of that report says, but after more than a year of negotiations, the sides remain apart. The situation appears headed toward a franchise tag Tuesday. So again, that report, it's like, I mean, it's cool information. So Eric DaCosta came down here, but again, it's not anything really new. So, but again, he's trying. But we've heard that already, that the Ravens are trying and Lamar, they they going back and forth talking, uh, but still, obviously, nothing yet. So, shout out to Adam Schefter. Adam Schefter got a lot of people the other day with him trolling, talking about Lamar uh, being traded to Washington. I mean, I felt like everybody should have known, like from the jump, that that was a troll. Because had that been true, then you would have been seeing that report at literally everywhere, everywhere. Like you know, you've been seeing how much this Lamar story's been getting covered. Like, you would have been seeing that report literally every single where, from every single reporter, every single body. So, that's how I figured people knew it was a troll, but a lot of people did not know that it was a troll. But, anyway, so Lamar is not going to Washington, <laughs> at least for now. Um, but, anyway, uh, Jeff Zrebik, he put out an article this morning that uh, talked about the possibility of Lamar Jackson being tagged. And the ramifications or implications that that could have on the Ravens when it comes to the salary cap. Because remember, they have about 28 mil in salary cap space. They do the exclusive franchise tag. That's about 45 mil. So they would need about 17 more mil. 
17 mil more I can't even tell. It's too early in the morning I'm still waking up And if they do the non-exclusive Then they would need about 4 mil more So again Ra Ravens got some decisions to make But again I'm so happy Because those decisions will be made Within the next day and a half Again no more wondering No more wondering No more guessing No more hmm, what's it gonna be with these Ravens No we're going to know I can't wait But anyway he mentioned some uh, possible cap cuts and this is really regardless of franchise tag or not. They still possibilities. Uh, Calais Campbell. Now, with Calais Campbell, like, he said that if they cut Calais Campbell, they will save about $7 million cap space. Now, with that, um, you just know, like, if Ravens cut Calais Campbell, they're going to bring him back. Oh, he also mentioned they could rework his deal so his cap hit is lower. Either way, I, I, I see no scenario at all where Calais Campbell is not a Baltimore Raven. He's just one of them players that you know the team loves, and they're not going to let him go anywhere. Now, like we said before, in the video where Calais Campbell announced that he's coming back for a 16th year, so Ravens cannot, they can't solely rely on him. He, ca he can't be the guy anymore for them uh, at, as an interior defensive lineman. He's not just a guy, but I don't think he can be the guy. He's older. He gets tired more. He can still make some plays here and there, but he cannot be their primary guy, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. Young guys got to step up. But, again, another conversation for another day. Um, he also mentioned uh, Gus Edwards, potential cap cut. And, and you know what's crazy? A lot of people have been saying that, like, during the season. Not that they were going to cut Gus Edwards during that last season, but that the following year that he could possibly be traded or cut. And I was thinking, like, no, but, yeah, it's a real possibility. Um, and that could save 4.4 mil. Uh, Devin DuVernay. Um, that could save 4.3 mil. Devin DuVernay, as we know, that been the primary Ravens return guy, punt return, kick return, uh, and sort of gadget guy on offense. Um, he seemed to be really stepping into a role this season early on. Um, then when Rashad Bateman went down, <sighs> they just stopped using him, and it just, yeah, so that everything stopped. When Rashad Bateman went down, everything just fell apart uh, with the receivers because they were starting to look a little promising early on, and then – yeah, you know the rest of the story. Uh, Michael Pierce, they could save two point one mil there, so that's an interesting one. And then safety Chuck Clark, like Chuck Clark, I thought Chuck Clark was gonna be out of here last year. <laughs> A lot of people thought Chuck Clark was gonna be out of here last year. He wanted to be out of here last year, but they kept him around and it ended up working out. Um, but this another year, another Chuck Clark possibly being cut. Um, and especially with Kyle Hamilton probably getting ready to emerge in a bigger role or to step into a bigger role yeah that's that's another option so again we'll see um again but so much like we'll we'll officially be able to really look at those potential cap cut scenarios and whatnot we'll be able to look at those a lot more deeper because over the next day and a half we'll know whether it's going to be a deal a long-term deal I doubt it, but or it's going to be a franchise tag. And if it is a franchise tag, then we'll know which one he'll have within the next day and a half. We out.